Hey, JP here. This is the firing of MHD block number seven, or more accurately, it is the segmented acrylic paraffin potassium fuel block test. Okay, that's just too big of a mouthful. But if you think that's bad, this is part of our magnetohydrodynamic power to plasma interface experiment for our rocket engines. It's just simpler to call them MHD blocks. We would just call them blocks, but we use Legos in our submarine bell here, and we don't want to get that mixed up. This is the MHD block after the firing. It's a stack of acrylic plates with a hole in the middle. In line are two paraffin rings cast into the acrylic. This is the first test with the potassium inclusions in the paraffin. The potassium is easily ionized during combustion and gives the magnet something to hang on to during the MHD process. The internals on block seven are identical to those of block six. However, we made some modifications to the externals. On the earlier tests, we just clamped it to a vise and away we went. This is from test number four. The problem is the acrylic starts to get soft. We run these for three minutes. The clamp squeezes the block and by the end of the run, it's not quite as secure as it should be. This is block four. And you see on the sides where the clamps were compressing, it's dished in. We extended these two plates and then made this mount for it. So it just clamps on there on the extended plates so the clamps no longer compress the block itself. On to the firing. Start. Looking pretty good. You're looking for three minutes, right? Yep. And about 15 seconds behind you. Well, I forgot what we were. We didn't go through the how to turn it off. Start. Start. Looking pretty good. You're looking for three minutes, right? Yep. In this test, we are looking for purple. If we see purple in the flame, then the potassium is ionizing. If not, then all we're really doing is hurling the potassium out the back in melted wax. You can see we have some great purple going on here. Definitely potassium ionization. Now we need to put some electrodes in there and measure how much. About a third of the potassium and paraffin by weight did not burn and just melted out of the back of the unit. Now this should all go away when we run it at higher pressure levels. And we'll be doing that on block number eight. After a few more tests, we'll embed these blocks in our next generation engine. This is what it'll look like in a couple of months, all integrated into a complete unit. It will have the block, the MHD reactor, and the linear accelerator. The O2 will be side-fed through multiple ports. It'll be about 12 inches long, and I think we're gonna go through about 20 of them. Thank you to all our patrons out there on Patreon. You keep us going. If you want to join us on our journey to space, please click subscribe below. Bye till next time. Thank you for watching.